Why are you adorable? Is it? Is that straight? You you wouldn't straighten it out. Isn't that better? Sure. We gotta be a united front. We are united front. We are united front. I feel. Ready? I'm ready. Hey, what's up, everybody? This your girl, Miss P, and JB's in the house. We fight. <laughs> it's time for another vlog. If you have missed vlog number one through five of the first trimester vlogs, I need you to catch up. What you waiting on? What was you doing? I need you to turn that notification bell on. Boing, boing. That's how my notification sounds in my head. Oh, okay. Boing, boing. What your sound like? Bring. Oh. You know, like, no, no. Okay, I see what you did there. Somebody's here. Mm -hmm. Sounds like he's shuffling cards. Ranger, stop. Anybody who got a dog, you know about that. So they like attention. They really do. But, like I said, turn those notifications on. Catch up on vlogs one through five of the first trimester vlogs. We're getting ready to roll into the second. And I'm currently in my third as we're doing this video. Oh, wow. I know. Wait a minute. You in your third trimester? Yeah. It's like the last one, right? It ain't four. This is it, Michael Jackson. Track. Baby coming. Oh my God. I gotta go to work. <laughs> go ahead and like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And follow your girl on social media at Miss TP90. Make sure you get into Another Word with Miss P, my podcast. It comes out every single Thursday. It's on all the platforms, honey. I mean, you can find it everywhere. Also, Sweet Daddies. Barbecue sauce. Gotta get it. You gotta get you some. Gotta get it. Gotta use it. I think it was this past week. Jeff cooked with that rub and barbecue sauce every day that he made stuff. It was one I day you cooked something. all day. And yeah. you I was like interested. And it is the everything sauce and the everything seasoning. You gotta get you some. The link is down below. It's fantastic. Everything was delicious. Oh, it was spectacular. This vlog, and I have JB here. Why? Because I always like him near me. It was helpful, cute little stuff. And this one though, he scared me a little bit. He just, she jarred me a bit. Everything was going, yeah, I know you got your eyes wide what does open. That do? What does that I'm do? I'm gonna get ready to tell you. Get ready to tell you. Everything was going fine. We were just living our lives. I'm gonna take you back to May. Oh, man. Take yeah. you back okay, to yeah. May. I scared me. Okay. I scared a lot of people. Everything was fine. I had graduated. You know, we were in our first trimester. We're just going through life. Tax season was heavy. Because you had, it was extended, right? This yeah. year? Yeah, it was extended. Just, I mean, he was just going, plugging away, knocking things out. <laughs> I haven't vlogged for a few days because my camera was like, you out of space because I'm a little tired. Not gonna lie, yesterday, oh my God, I was exhausted. So I was in the bed all day and I was quite all right with that. I'm just chilling, haven't been nauseous or feeling sick. Thank God. I really believe that being on this Humera helps me anyway with my appetite and my nausea. Every now and again, I get a little bout of, or, uh, or I, I, I don't want that. I can tell that my hormones are all over the place. Cause two weeks ago, I was crying every day. Last week I was fine. This week I'm fine. I'm just achy and super stuffy. I go to my dentist appointment tomorrow. Uh, what they're gonna do, I have no idea. This is the last week of my revisions. But overall, I'm really happy with um, my results with my Invisalign. I technically had it since last September. But uh, yeah. And I mean, we you remember we went to Jamie's um, birthday. Right. I mean, we was cooling, enjoying the springtime, enjoying ourselves. Woo. I forgot how salt and vinegary these were. But I'm on the drums too. Sing your song. Come on. This made me want to watch Set It Off, but I don't feel like being sad. <laughs> it didn't help you. I thought it would get in your spirit. 
got it by the mirror. That sizzles. Okay. And out of nowhere, JB is in the hospital. <laughs> Beautiful gowns, honey. Uh-oh, you got all your stuff? Lord, put your stuff back on before they think you had a heart attack. Here. Put that on your finger. And push that back up to yourself. You got something else? What's this? Oh, look at you. No, we want you to that to see. There you go. All right. This time I'm not in the hospital. It's him. Whoa. She promised. <laughs> Jeff is making sexual advances while he's hooked up to all these machines. I'm slightly impressed and disturbed at the same time. Oh, they took him. I remember the day before we don't have arguments we just have discussions that are you know yeah I, I remember us having discussions but I didn't know that was the day before yes it was the night oh, before wow. and the crazy thing we were both like you know what we'll talk tomorrow and we never do that we always I'm the type, whenever we're having these discussions, I like resolve. I want to finish things. And Jeff, sometimes he's like, it's okay to table. And as we progress in our relationship, I'm realizing it is okay to table. And sometimes we do need to go ahead and get it. Yeah, especially when you have other stuff that's pressing. That's true. And, you know, there's no need in stressing about something and that's I, not, I, not going anywhere. I don't even know what the hell we was pressed I'm about. I'm still trying to figure it out. I just remember we were going back and forth. We hmm. deaded the conversation. I was like, okay, fine. So the next day, you know, I can be kind of petty. And I'm working on that. And now that I'm married. Petty P has left the building. Because nobody has time for that. Nobody. So he FaceTimed me, but I my phone wasn't near me. And when I got back to my phone, I said, oh, Jeff, he called me. <laughs> Let me call him back. So <laughs> I called him back. And the funny thing, he was in the hospital, gowned up. And he had also sent me a text saying, I'm in the hospital. This is where I'm at. Blah, blah, blah. And then I called him back because I was like, oh my God. I answered the phone back and he was in the gown and everything. And then I said, Jeff, are you okay? And the crazy thing, he was talking. So I knew he was all right. But then the phone, the phone went died. out. Yeah. Jeff's phone, child. I need to put a charger on him. <laughs> this phone goes out all the time. And now that I'm yeah, married to him, yeah. it's not a fluke. It is serious. Yeah. Just I'm this morning, your phone was dead. What? Yeah. Child, I called the hospital, y'all. <sighs> and the I is, he did get the message, mm -hmm. and he called me back. I have high blood pressure, and I wasn't doing what I was supposed to do, which was take my medicine regularly. Mm -hmm. And I know better than that, but... um. Yeah, I just wasn't taking it. I was being hard-headed. I have a um, blood pressure monitor in my office desk. I am prepared in a lot of instances. And so I checked my blood pressure and it was like ridiculously high. And I was like, this is not good. I need to go home. And I'm walking to the front office and all of a sudden I started getting short of breath. My chest was hurting. You want to call the ambulance? I was like, no. I've never been in an ambulance before. I've never been, I've never been admitted into a hospital before. No. This is my first time spending a night in the hospital. So anyway, they called the ambulance. They take me to the, to the hospital, and I had to stay there. Was it two days? 
I had to stay like two days for them to get my blood pressure back to where they could release me. You have to take care of yourself. You have to do what you're supposed to do. And I wasn't. Tara came up there and then as <laughs> soon as she got there, they were like, no, you can't come up with him. You know, they were getting ready to admit me, and, you know, actually assign me a room. And they wouldn't let her come up there with me. And I was bummed about that because, you know, I was, I'm thinking she was going to be able to stay with me like I stayed with her when she was in the hospital. Mm -hmm. And they wasn't allowing that. But, um, right. yeah, it was, a, it was a real scare. It was a scare for me because I never had anything like that happen to me. You have to take care of yourself and you have to put, you have to put yourself around people that want to take care of you as well. And she trips about the fact that, you know, yeah, she's my emergency point of contact. But I never really had a point of contact before if it wasn't my mom, you know? It was like, she was the only person I knew that would answer the phone, but now Tara, she's definitely gonna answer the phone, especially if it has something to do with me. She's gonna answer the phone. If I call, I know she's gonna answer. If I FaceTime, if she doesn't respond, I give it two minutes tops. So we're on top of the whole communication thing, and that's why it's important to, um, you know, keep cultivating that communication because you never know when something really serious is going to happen. Disagreement is really petty when it comes down to it. You know, when it gets down to brass tacks, the most important person to me is Tara, and her health is more, her health is just as important to me as my own. And so I'm always trying to look out for her, and, and she does the same for me. Yeah. And so uh, in that instance, we I got a chance to see how she would be if I was sick, and that was pretty cool. But I don't like being sick. I don't like being sick. I don't Not even a like crazy thing. He popped right back up like a pop tart. Uh. Came and picked him up, and <laughs> the aha was looked on the security camera. Here he come. Walking. Walking out, <laughs> who walk, who discharges themselves? Ushered me out, like, where are we going? <laughs> Y'all hungry? That's what happened. I mean, we were back to our normal after Jeff got out of the hospital. What happened was Jeff and I went on a little date and we went to see the saw with Chris Rock and that spiral. Oh, so technically, pretty soon, we can't fit a car seat back here. It's just not gonna work. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Oh, no, it doesn't. Fuck it, we're gonna get a sprinter. Uh -huh. We're gonna get a sprinter. <laughs> Ever since we watched Monsters Inside Me, I don't want to touch nothing. <laughs> Did nobody tell you to watch that? You like that kind of stuff? Mm -hmm. But you don't like scary movies. No. That's a scary and a scary movie to me. No. They said barnacles was growing out the man's hand. Barnacles, Jesus. And then, ooh, imagine you wake up and you got some shit growing out your head every day. It feels like a seashell. Uh-uh. Growing out of your head and you no. work as a marine. No, thanks. No wonder they said... Now, he doesn't do anything. He quit his job. He teaches biology at the high school with his hands in his pocket. And that's that. I'm gonna vote no. Thanks. Good night. That made me itch to think about it. Ew! It's time for another eye exam. I'm, I'm really not that excited. But I don't have to be dilated today because I'm pregnant. So that, I will say, it's fine with me. Totally fine with that. <sighs> I'm tired. Jeff and I did a lot of walking yesterday, so my body feels like a truck hit it. I guess I gotta do more walking, but, jeesh. These sour mica nikes. Mm -mm. Went to five below. Haven't gone there in ages. I went in there for the 10 for a dollar candy. They were like out of everything. I had my um, eye appointment today, cause it was time. And one of my favorite doctors is leaving, so I went to see her as well. Of course, I saw Ebony, it was good to see her. And a bunch of my old coworkers, so it's always good to see them. Oh, that green one. That's good. And I had to stop by the Mercedes dealership because Jeff is looking for a bigger vehicle because he drives a Mustang. I personally think he could keep his Mustang, but we 
we saw this SUV. I went to see it to make sure that it wasn't sold and to set him up an appointment for later because he's at work. So yeah. I'm gonna go home. Cause Pop just made some cube steak and rice. And I'm really hungry. And now I'm just gonna relax for a little bit. I have some editing to do and I have some stuff to do for the podcast. I have to send my demo through and it's always something to do, honey. Don't ever think there's not nothing to do. Miss P always has something to do. I can't remember the last time I was bored. Honestly. This weekend is Memorial Day weekend. As far as what is going on, um, one of my friends is his birthday. He's having a pool party. I'm probably going to go show my face, see everybody, say what's up. Knowing me, I'm not gonna stay long. Cause I can't do any of the festivities. I can't drink, I can't smoke, I can't do nothing like that. So I'm gonna go get a plate, Kiki, and head on. Another one of my friends, she's having um, a block party, birthday party, but it's on the 12th of June, and I'm very busy that day. So. There you go. And that's why. Something's off with this. I'm just eating it because I'm hungry, but it's like it will tear the line of your stomach apart. And unfortunately, his Nana passed. Yeah. So that was, maybe was a lot. You wouldn't guess what time it is. Two in the morning, and Jeffrey was on a I'm, mission no, no. to find me something to eat. Did you say I was hungry? I said Jeffrey was on a mission oh, to find I me something you, to eat. Yeah, I was trying to be nice. I was feeding you and the baby. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Did you tell him I needed some fries, y'all? No. Hey. They get you chalupa. What's that? Bye. That's good. I didn't need one. Okay. Yeah. Unfortunately, Jeffrey's Nana passed. So, we've been with his fan band today. And um, it was hitting around 2. Actually, around 1.30. And my mouth got dry. And I said, I can't have another slice of cake. I need something savory. So, this one. My pants <laughs> His pants were still up, so I couldn't nibble on that. So I figured I'd go get some other type of meat. <laughs> but um, for real, it was like two in the morning, and I needed something to eat. Like I was, I'm starving, and if I'm not sleep around this time. The baby's hungry. Like, the baby gonna wake me up. If I'm not, like, dead sleep, I'm gonna get up and have a snack of some kind. But normally, I'm asleep around this time. Child? She gonna get up and have a snack of some kind. <laughs> I right, not feed you. See what you find in the morning, in the middle of the night. Uh. That's how oh, we, not ready that's for, how we not, got into this situation. Not ready for your character. You can't even see me look. Where are you at? There you go. <laughs> I'm in there somewhere. And then we messed up Jeffrey's hair today. Yeah, she got my chemical blowout. He got a thing. blowout. Uh, he was at the window bad. He was like, my hair. And I was like, your hair. Keep getting my hair wet. I said, what? You have luxurious lives of love. And this side is going to lock up if I don't brush it. And then my do okay. You haven't been with your jewelry. Thank God for Taco Bell for coming through tonight. Uh, On tonight. Just come on. What? Just come on. Just come on. Yes. 
want to thank the pastor for his Ashallah. love Ashallah. offering to get the food for the mission. Ashallah. Yeah, my grandmother, she was 96. Yeah. And, um, yeah, that was, and she really was the backbone of our family. It still is, you know. When you have someone that's that much of a personality and a presence in your family, when they pass, you know, it's their memory and a lot of the things that they did that keeps the family tight, you know. Yeah, and so true. we're still, we're still um, <clears throat> honoring her mm -hmm. as much as we possibly can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this has been, a, a whole lot has been going on, but God has been faithful yeah. to us and, and he's been keeping his promises to us and we got to be thankful for that too. That's right. You know, so it's it's we just keep moving on, keep moving along, keep loving each other. You know, love ain't love until you give it away. I don't care what nobody says. If you love somebody and you're not actively loving them, you know, there's a lot of people that will say, "Oh, I love you," but they're withholding. They're not giving it away. They're telling other people they love you. They might say they love you in their head, <clears throat> but if they're not showing it, and not necessarily when times are good, but when times are bad, that's when you have to, that's when you exercise that love muscle. And so that's something I learned from my grandmother, as well as, you know, just in life in general, we've had experiences and we've had life experiences where we thought we were in love or thought somebody loved us, but it was from the example of my grandmother and a lot of people in my family and in Terrence's family as well, when I see love in action, and I can say, you know what, that's love. And 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 we try to, you know, give our love to each other every day. We try to express it, we try to show it, we try to be there for each other without any limits, you know, without any any clauses or anything like that. Yeah. You know. <clears throat> and so so we definitely gotta take care of each other and we gotta take care of ourselves. Very true. Thank y'all so much for all the love, all the support, all of the comments, all of the gifts. We're really excited for our virtual baby shower. I'll give you guys all the details so that you can be a part of it via its Facebook, Instagram, uh, or here on YouTube. Um, we'll have all those platforms available so that you can be a part of the baby shower. So I'm really excited about that. And I think that's when we're going to say what the baby's name is. Yes, we're going to reveal we're, his we're name. We're going to reveal his name when yeah. we do the virtual baby shower. We've been we haven't saying revealed. his name for the longest. Oh, yeah, we shower, definitely have. Nine nine. But... <laughs> We've been saying his name for a long time, but in the vlogs, we literally omit it or we don't say it while we're doing this because, yeah. but everybody in our family knows his name. So that's yeah. um, fun. Yeah. And we're so excited to meet him. I, I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait either. It's going to be awesome. And we've seen what he's, a little bit of what he's going to look like. Oh yeah, with a 3D scan. Yeah, and that was so awesome just to see him. It's even my, well, I wish I could show you guys, but I haven't changed my wallpaper in years. I just changed it, and I don't know. Until he gets here, that's going to be my wallpaper. I look it's at him 3D every, scan. yeah, my 3D scan, I look at him every single day. It is crazy. Yeah, but she's in love. I am. It is nuts. Mm -hmm. I never knew I could literally... <sighs> Yeah. We're going to be doing a Q&A soon because a lot of you guys have some questions and various comments that we want to address. So um, post your questions down below and we're going to do yeah. a Q&A soon. Questions, comments, we welcome them all. <laughs> exactly. We enjoy reading the comments. Thank y'all so much. Well, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, love, and all. That, that good, good stuff. stuff. God bless. Bye. Bye.